Welcome back to Underpar Acres. In last week's video, we were trying to decide whether we should build a bunker in front of the green or not, and it became pretty obvious that we at least had to try. So this week, we got to work on the bunker, and things are going very well until we had a major weather event hit our town. What started off as just a simple idea of a bunker quickly turned into me running an outline of a bunker with a hose, which then turned into getting the ground paint out to get a little more official. And shortly after that, I got started with the landscaping around the green, and while doing that, I deposited a bunch of dirt at the site of the bunker build so that I could start building some walls. The box blade turned out to be very handy for this job and we were able to build the outline of a bunker within about 15 minutes. I started to use the shovel to fine tune it, but I quickly realized that I needed to use the box blade a little bit more and then go around it a few times to change the shape from a square into more of a circle. I then did a little bit more fine tuning with the shovel and things were really starting to come along and really start to look good. At this stage I was ready to start building a French drain to get water out of the bunker and start compacting the walls. Little did we know that we were going to be hit by historic floods that night where we had over 14 inches of rain in less than six hours. And while the bunker now looked like a good mud bath, we were very lucky in the fact that the putting green was undamaged and just needed to be cleaned off, but more importantly, the house build site was rock solid and had no damage whatsoever. The only real sad news we had was that over on the field that we're building the driving range, we had the bench that we built completely wiped out and has disappeared. But no need to worry as we still have the other half of the bench so we can easily build a new one to replace it. But for now it was time to get back to work on the bunker and start digging a trench so we could drain all the water out of it. And this is where I intend to build the French drain so this will be a good test for us to make sure we've got everything running downhill so that the water's running out and not back in. And at this stage, everything was running perfect. The water was draining out of the bunker and into the little pond area. And we were gonna have this thing dried out in no time. The next morning we came out, all the water had drained out as expected. So we were gonna go in and dig the trench a little bit deeper as that's where we we're gonna put the pea gravel in the pipe that's gonna run underneath the bunker. Soon after doing this work, we had another hard rain, but this time it was only about 20 minutes and about a quarter inch of rain, so it wasn't nearly as bad. But since everything was still so wet, it was enough rain to expose a few flaws that we had in the bunker that were better to catch now and correct before we proceed on further. By digging the trenches deeper, we lost the downhill effect, and now the trenches were level with the pond, which had water coming back into the bunker, which we do not want. So we came out the next day and we started working to smooth out the base and when all of this dries out we're going to add a little bit more dirt to raise the bottom of the bunker so we can get the French drain running downhill again and have the pipe on the outside of the bunker be above the water level. And what we're going to do when everything dries out is create a bowl effect with the pipe in the middle so that any rainwater drains to the middle of the bunker into the pipe and out into the pond.
But that's about all the work we can get done for right now. And fortunately, we have 10 days of hot sunshine in front of us. So we're gonna let this thing dry out over the next four or five days and then get the tractor back out and keep on building. Thanks as always for watching and we will see you as soon as we're able to get back to work.